Hello and welcome to the Level 2 Online Tips and Tricks Tutorials Volume 2. Today I'll be showing you how to make an animated GIF texture within Second Life. Um, what are the benefits of using an animated GIF texture over multiple images? Well, there's not as much lag involved. <clears throat> when you use eight different textures to load one animation, um, it causes a lot of bandwidth lag and server lag. Um, you know, as when you're using cycle textures or um, even UUID textures, it causes a lot of lag. So today I'm going to show you how to make a animated GIF texture out of one texture using the mapping feature um, for the scripts. And so let's get started. You're going to want to go ahead and load your photo editing program such as Photoshop or GIMP. Uh, either will work fine. I want to create a image that's 256 by 256. Um, you can use larger images such as 1024 by 1024 and and fit you know um, 16 different 128 by 128s in it. And uh, you can have up to 16 24 frames. Um, it all just depends on uh, how many frames you want to do. But today we're going to be doing four different frames, and so we'll do. Um, a 128 by 128 frame for this image which means it will fit into it four times alright once that loads start our first frame and okay. now for the first frame I'm just gonna be do something very simple and basic so that you can get an idea of what's going on in the animated GIF texture alright so just place a small red dot in there and copy and paste that over into our final image which will be frame one. The the way the frames work is the top left is the first frame and then it goes to the right and then down um, just like you're reading a book so this will be frame one and then frame two will go here frame three and frame four alright so we'll put that in frame one's location and go ahead and make a little bit larger um, dot here for frame 2. Copy and paste that over and there you go there's frame 2. Okay and repeat the same steps for frame 3 and 4 and you can use alpha layers for the GIF animation you can use just about anything um, just gotta be creative that's what Second Life's all about right? alright so there's frame 3 and now let's finish it up with frame 4 make it nice and large dot there for you alright and copy and paste that over into frame 4's location there you go and there's your final animated GIF image we'll go ahead and save that as Targa GIF sample and save as 32 bit and now when you're using alpha layers, uh, which will be the next tips and tricks guide that I'll be showing you um, after this one, you're going to want to always save as target 32-bit. Alright, now let's switch back over to Second Life and upload the uh, texture, which I already have for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the prim that we'll be using our GIF animation on. Okay. And set the texture to the GIF sample texture. Now as far as the script involved in order to create a GIF image within Second Life, you might think that it is difficult, but it is in fact very basic line of code. Um, just one line, set texture animation, animation on, loop all sides, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The um, This is where the mapping comes into play. Now for our image we have two across and two across, so we want to do two and two. Now for an example, this image over here has eight separate images. So in order to do these eight images, you have to map it four and four. Okay. So now that we have our GIF texture or GIF script, go ahead and place that in the prim. Okay. Paste that in there. And the last digit in the set is the speed. So we'll just place it at 1 for now. And once that saves, you'll start noticing the GIF doing its thing. 
and now you can use this to create just about any kind of animated image within Second Life, including um, you know uh, up to 16, 24 frames. It just depends on how many frames you need for your animation. Um, get creative. That's what Second Life's about. All right. I hope you found this uh, helpful, and stay tuned for more uh, Level Two Online tips and tricks.